I'm working on a 2013 Volkswagen Beetle with a 2 liter turbo. Came in, car keeps shutting off, engine lights on. Um, Plug in the scan tool and it has a fuel system pressure too low, or fuel rail pressure too low, along with a um, another fuel rail pressure too low fault. So go into um, go into uh, measuring block values. Check fuel pressure pressure at the um, rail specified versus actual. It's saying it's at 10 bar, it's requesting 40 bar. So what I'm going to do now is it either has a problem with the high pressure fuel sensor, which are fairly problematic, or the uh, high pressure fuel pump. I am um, being that the fuel pump is easy to swap, and I have one on hand. I'm probably just going to stick a high pressure fuel pump on it and um, start it up, and then check pressure again and see if it's where it should be. But that'll uh, probably take care of the problem. Thanks. All right, I installed the uh, used fuel pump and uh, the high pressure pump on the engine super easy to get off the car there's a uh, there's one fitting and then a, a hose clamp and then two torx bits that you just take off it's, it's very easy and i uh, replaced that and it took care of the problem the reason why i went for the high pressure pump rather than just replacing the high pressure sensor is because the um the long crank before startup is usually with direct injected engines it's a sign that the high pressure pump is, has failed or is failing BMWs with a different style rotary pump, those ones will crank a long time before they fire up and blow smoke, and these ones kind of act the same way, these uh, piston style ones that are on the Volkswagens. They, um, they also crank for a long time before they start up when they have a high pressure fuel pump problem. The sensor, it'll start up immediately, it'll just, it'll run the same way, set the same faults, but you'll get, you know, you'll get high pressure faults and low pressure faults you'll you'll get um it'll kind of go back and forth because the the reading will just be off but this one long crank low fuel pressure at the rail pointing me towards the high pressure pump so i replaced that and took care of the problem all right thanks